Sam Elsom is on a mission to save the planet with seaweed. He cultivates Asparagopsis, a red species that's native to Australia, and adds it to animal feed. Our chief scientist, Professor Rocky Denise, uh, provided 30 different varieties of seaweed into a livestock trial to see the impact that would have on methane abatement. That's how Asparagopsis became our focus. A single cow releases 70 to 120 kilograms of methane a year, a byproduct of their digestive system. That makes livestock one of the biggest contributors to global methane emissions. A UN report says cutting methane emissions is the fastest way to slow global warming. Methane may break down faster than carbon dioxide, but it's about 25 times more powerful in warming the Earth. In June this year, New Zealand announced the world's first tax on cow and sheep burps. In New Zealand, uh, all agricultural greenhouse gas emissions make up around 50% of our greenhouse gas emissions. And if you look at just the methane emissions, livestock emissions make up about 90% of New Zealand's methane emissions. What we have looked at is how we can support farmers to calculate their emissions at the farm level, understand what is driving those emissions on their farm, and then understand what their opportunities are to reduce them. That's where a product like Asparagopsis comes in. Adding a little red seaweed into cow feed cuts down on the methane burps. So a cow needs just 50 mils. We, we create a, a liquid seaweed product, a seaweed-based oil product. Um, and so just a 50 mils is incorporated into the diet. It's less than 0.2% of the animal's overall diet or daily intake. The seaweed produces a compound called bromoform, which curbs an enzyme in the cow's digestive system, preventing the formation of methane. The active ingredient of the seaweed itself is bromoform, and bromoform at higher doses could be uh, considered as a carcinogen. So we have to make sure that we are giving it a very, very small quantity. I think if we are achieved that, uh, then this will have a, um, a, a real potential to reduce methane emissions quite substantially from uh, cattle. Professor Hermias Cabrab has been studying if seaweed reduces methane emissions in cows. First, he tracked 12 dairy cows. He found that adding seaweed to their diet reduced methane emissions by 60%. The number dropped 80% for beef cattle. Dairy cooperative Fonterra has partnered with Sea Forest for a similar trial on a larger scale. We've tested this now for over three years on, on herds of up to a thousand cows, in fact, over a thousand cows, and we've seen no ability to detect any change in the, in the flavor, in the, in the smell, in the aroma, or in the milk quality um, of using the seaweed. We're only using very small amounts. It's like less than a quarter of a percent of the cow's diet is the actual seaweed supplement. The methane abatement solutions are really important to our net zero ambitions. We know that, um, that the methane from cows is the biggest chunk of our footprint. We think the challenge for us that we've got to solve is around you know, the proper use of it, the food safety, the quality considerations, um, and the animal health. We need to make sure all of those things are green lights for us before we proceed to any sort of large scale. So we're talking about a 0.2% increase on a per kilo of, of beef, price for beef, and uh, just a 2.4% increase in a litre of milk. So it's very, very small. We've currently got a million doses of stock on hand for the for the industry, and uh, and we hope to feed around 100,000 head of cattle this year from our seaweed product. That's about 280,000 tonnes of CO2 equivalent from methane abatement. We hope to get to around 5.6 million through feeding 2 million cattle. That's equivalent to removing over a million cars from the road a year. To reach that goal, Sea Forest has been expanding its facilities in Tasmania. Seaweeds, um, you know, grow through photosynthesis. They're what they call what we call a zero input crop. So they don't rely on finite resources like fresh water or land to grow. The goal to be the first to cultivate Asparagopsis on a commercial scale, and then to share the knowledge.
we hope to take the technology that we've developed here in Australia and, and uh, implement that in other parts of the world so that we can have the cultivation itself taking place near to where the seaweed is needed. And tackle global warming, one cow at a time.